So today we want to look at Kriya AI. Now, Kriya AI is a image slash video generating AI tool that compacts a lot of different models in one subscription. I personally use Kriya very frequently for image generation because the quality and speed that Kriya provides is really good compared to other generators out there. And today in this video, we're going to be looking at all the tools and videos that you can use in Kriya AI. So if you head over to Kriya.ai, this is the homepage that you'll see. So the first feature that we're going to be looking at is Kriya Chat, which is still in beta as in February 2025, which this video was recorded. Now let's head over to Kriya Chat. Now, if you're very familiar with text to text based AI like ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini, this works very much the same. For example, if I type in, tell me about batteries, and if I hit enter, it's going to tell me everything about batteries. But one of the downside about Kriya Chat is that it doesn't have real time search. So let's say if I type in something like, tell me about the latest stock prices today. And it's going to say I'm unable to provide real time stock prices or financial information because it doesn't search on the Internet real time. That's one of the disadvantage that Kriya has. And you can't really put in a PDF file because it doesn't recognize it in the chat as well. Unlike ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot or Google Gemini, you can just put in a PDF file and it will analyze the file for you. It cannot do that. However, in Kriya, it does read images. Over here, I have a picture of a BMW M3 GTR from the game Need for Speed. Now, I just want to drag and drop this image right here. And as you can see, you can load the image into the chat. So if I say something like, tell me about this car, and it can analyze the image and tells you about what car it is. Over here, we get a response. The car is a BMW M3 GTR famously featured in the 2005 video game Need for Speed Most Wanted. And it tells me about the model and performance, the design, the cultural impact, engineering features, and the legacy as well. So when using different AI, I like to promote something called Synergy, where you kind of use two different techniques and get different results. Over here, what we did was image to text because we uploaded an image into the AI and the AI replied in text. So instead of ending the conversation here, we can actually continue the conversation and convert text to image. So over here, I want to type, make this car drive on a country side freeway sunset mood so over here what it does is that Kriya is going to take my text and convert it into image so we are actually doing image to text and then text to image and let's look at the results yeah i think it's pretty good Another thing that you can do is that you can continue the conversation. So let's say if I were to write, change this into anime style. And if I hit enter, it's going to remember what we previously generated and it's going to convert that image into an anime style. So let's look at the image over here. I think this looks great. Yeah. I yeah, it looks really good. So the next thing that I want to show you is Flux. So Flux is an image generator AI that you can use to generate high quality images. So let's click on generate images and you'll be brought to the Flux page. So at the bottom left corner over here, you can select the different models that Kriya provides. We have Flux, we have Ideogram 2.0, Flux 1.1, the Pro or the Pro Ultra version. And over here, you can change the aspect ratio of your image. There is 4 by 3, 16 by 9, 2.35, 1.1, 2.3, or 9 by 16. Now, at the bottom here, you have the random prompt, which when you click it, it just gives you a very random prompt. So let's say if you're looking for inspiration, you can just click on this infinitely, and it will just randomly give you different prompts that you can check out. 
It's pretty cool. So let's generate an image over here and see how it looks. And it's really quick. Like within 10 seconds, it's done generating four different images based on the prompt that we had. So let's say if you like an image a lot, but you want to tweak something, like something just doesn't feel right. You can always click on the very button over here. So what it does is that it will give you four more different but very similar variations based on the image that you click on. Now another feature that I want to show you is called styles. So if you click on add style over here, you can choose from hundreds and hundreds of style presets suitable for your needs. These are user generated presets and they are trained so that you can use it to generate something that is very similar. So let's go for this dark gothic dark souls kind of style. And if you drag on the style value over here, you can actually decide on how much it's going to affect your final image. So let's keep it somewhere around 0.6. And let's click on generate. And as you can see, it's very different from the anime style that we just generated from before. I would say that your limitation is your imagination. Now, Korea can generate some very ridiculous stuff. For example, if we were to type in a chicken fighting a cow in a boxing match in a boxing ring, and if I click enter, it's going to give me one of the most ridiculous results that you'll ever see. So you can combine this by adding even more styles. So over here, there is a PS1 Tekken preset that I want to use. And I'm just going to put it somewhere around 0.6 as well and click on generate. And it's giving me some very ridiculous results. Yeah, someone has to make this into a real game at some point. If you don't like any of the styles, you can upload your own reference image as well. Over here, we want to upload this picture of the anime BMW that we had. So we can just drag and drop this inside. And whatever that we prompted over here is going to reference this anime style over here. So let's put this somewhere around 0.6 and let's generate a sunny beach. And as you can see over here, it gives me a very nice looking aesthetic anime sunny beach. So the next thing that I want to show you is the edit feature. So we can click on edit image over here and we can upload an image. So let's say if I upload this nice looking Toyota Prius that is in anime style, which we previously generated. Now. At the bottom of the screen, there is select, change region, cut objects, or add image. So if we were to select a region over here, and we could just type in whatever that we want, say, add a toolbox. And we're just going to hit generate. So what it does is that in our select the region, it's going to add in whatever that we prompted over there. And we have a toolbox. It doesn't look like a toolbox. Is that a toolbox? Yes, I think that's good. So let's say if you want to cut out an object, you can always click cut object. And then you can select the objects that you don't want and just drag it out. So let's say if I don't want this toolbox and I can just click on generate. And it just removes the toolbox over there. And let's say if I want to remove all of these stuff, right? I want to remove all of these stuff on the ground. And I'm just going to hit generate. So what Korea does is that it's going to fill in the blanks. And in just a few seconds, it's gone. So I want to show you another trick that you can do in the edit feature. So I want to upload a photo of a fashion model. And I want to add an image of a Apple Vision Pro. So 
what you can do is that you can resize this image and place it somewhere around the eyes. And if you hit on generate, it works kind of like Photoshop. Basically what it does is that it will blend two images together. So our fashion model is going to be wearing the Apple Vision Pro. The results is not exactly perfect, but it's a feature to play around with. Another feature in Krea is the enhancer feature that you can use to upscale images and videos. So let's head over to the enhancer and we want to drop this BMW picture inside Krea. So on the side over here, you can adjust the resolution by multiplying it by one, two, four, or eight times the size. And you can add some prompts to adjust the style of the image, adjust the strength, on how much the prompt should affect the generated image, how much it resembles the original image, or how much clarity you want. And you can just click on enhance, and it's gonna enhance the original image to upscale it or make it even more high quality. And there we have it. This is the original image, and this is the enhanced version. It does look very similar, but some of the tones the color tones or the textures are better in a way, but it kind of gives you a very realistic vibe. It kind of cuts out the anime vibe a bit. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is the video generation tool. So we want to click on generate videos over here. So at the bottom left corner, it's very similar to image generation where you can select different models and it will provide different results as well because each of the models works very differently. For example, like the Hanyuan model, you can only adjust the resolution and the aspect ratio. However, in the high low model, you can add a start frame, you can add a character for character consistency, and you can add camera motion as well. So each of the models work differently and the options they provide are different as well. So you can play around with different models to find what suits you the most. So you can just type in any prompt that you want. For example, a sunset beach. And if I click generate, it's going to take some time, but it will generate a video for me in a few minutes, I guess. And we are done. We have a beautiful sunset beach of a video. And you can generate something that is very ridiculous as well. For example, we want to put in this chicken versus cow Tekken free screenshot and just type in fight brutally and just hit enter. And this is the results. Oh, 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 fruit. So the last thing that I want to talk about is training your own assets. Now, if you click on this train button over here, you can actually train your own style, face, or object. So let's say if you want to train your own portrait or if you want to train your own selfies, you can. Or if you have a product that you want to train on and generate images with Korea, you can do that. And over here, you can see that I added three of my own selfies with different angles, different expression, and I can click on use with flux. So right now it brings me to the image generator just like before, and I am now a star. So let's put this somewhere around 0.5. And I want to type in a man in snow holding coffee. And if I hit enter, and there is me. <laughs> Holding a coffee in snow. Does it look like me though? Yeah, it does. So let's say if I type in a, a professional portrait studio photo uh, medium shot. Uh, what else? Uh, wearing a suit, maybe. And this is me. And over here, this is me. Uh, the head is kind of off. I don't know. It looks very weird, kind of. So it looks like me, but it doesn't look like me, kind of. It's like 
50-50. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, I appreciate. But, you know, I kind of like it, though. I don't know what to say about this. If you would like to subscribe for Korea, there are four different plans that you can choose from. The first one is free. That means there are free daily generations, but it is limited. And if you are done with your daily free generations, you can come back tomorrow and it will reset. You get free daily generations again. So the next one is the basic plan at eight bucks a month, pro at 28 and the max for 48 bucks a month. It goes down to how frequent you use AI in your daily workflow. For me, the basic plan is more than enough, but it's different for everyone. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something. And if you do enjoy this video, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.